What is up guys, Tech Rex here. I got a silver iPhone 7 here. This is actually the first silver model I've ever experimented on. So that's pretty cool guys. Everybody, round of applause. I'm just kidding. Anyways guys, in this experiment, this is by the way, 10 out of 10 condition, great looking phone. I've got something like this. I don't know if you've heard of it guys. It's called Thinking Putty. This is just one container. Typically, this is something that it's super cool. It's like a stress reliever. It bounces, you can stretch it, but you can also rip it like that. And it's just cool, it's moldable. You could do a lot of things with this single piece. So I've managed to put 40 together in one big blob. And you guys can see this is absolutely amazing. It changes colors everywhere you look at. What we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna make a big ball out of this. I'm gonna place the iPhone inside of that ball and I'm gonna put some liquid nitrogen on top of it. Then I'm gonna put it in the freezer overnight so it crystallizes and we're gonna melt it down in the morning to see if the phone can still survive and what even happens to the putty as well. But both interesting things to find out right now and again guys, this stuff is just so interesting to handle because it changes, it just feels so good. It's like a big, oh my goodness, it's like a big size of candy. So anyways guys, let's make this into a ball. Okay guys, so it is pretty hard to actually mold this down to a perfect circle just because it's so huge and it keeps moving every time uh, you stop, you know? So let's go ahead and just open it up anyways, straight in half, see what we have inside. Cuts actually pretty smoothly, so that's good. And check it out just like that, the two equal halves. And what we're gonna do is the phone is gonna go like this. So now I'm gonna add the other piece and we're gonna have to mold it back down to another circle. So this might take some time, but that doesn't look even. We're just gonna go ahead and mold the edges. There's that phone. And then of course, go back to rolling it into a perfect ball. Okay guys, so the ball is round, iPhone is inside. I gotta do this quick so it doesn't deform. So let's go ahead and start pouring it. Ooh, something is popping in there. Okay guys, we're gonna put it in the freezer overnight. We're gonna see how it looks like tomorrow morning. I still can't see the iPhone anywhere in here, but it's super, super cool to the touch. And see you guys tomorrow morning. So here it is guys, finally out of the freezer. It's around noon and as you guys can see, this thing was impossible to keep and retain in its original shape. Um, you know, it kind of helped with ice, but even now, it's covered in these little pieces here. It's still retaining its same shape. This stuff is just so hard to work with, but I gotta find that iPhone. It's in there, and I need to know if it's still working. Yes, it's almost out, yes. Finally in my hands. It was so hard to get it out initially, but when I did, there's no, none of it is sticking to the iPhone, which is so interesting. It's ice cold. I will go ahead and plug it in right now, just to see if this phone still has what it take to start up. And even the port is frozen, because I can't get it all the way in, so. Let me try and switch it around here. Good sign, good sign. We got that screen, the white screen of glory. Hopefully what we see next is another good sign. And this phone is ice solid. I can't budge any of the buttons. That includes the power button, the home button. They're all just one piece. But hopefully we can see another sign. Come on. Yes, a vibration. Jackpot guys, look at that, beautiful, 4%. Yes, functionality is still there. 
This iPhone 7 took it like a champ liquid nitrogen in the freezer in this fun putty. So thanks for watching guys. As always, stay tuned for more videos. And uh, I gotta figure out what to do with this giant blob. Peace out.